Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen with me, Crazy Dave. Uh, behind the camera is a little coffee bean. Say hi. Hey. Okay, so what do we got for you? A quick, simple, amazing recipe. What is it? Quiche. Okay, so here's how the, the history of it kind of goes. My wife loves eggs, Crazy Mommy. I mean, can't get enough with these darn things. She'll buy a whole, like a brick of egg and she'll be gone through them in about a week or so. She loves them, okay. So she's over here making these, these quiche and she puts in to the Vitamix over here, um, what, like five eggs, some, some shredded you know, cheese right here, uh, some of the, the pre-made bacon you get from Costco. And she put them in a blender and she puts them into the little air fryer, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. And she's making a quiche. And she's eating like, mm, yum, 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 yum. And I'm like, okay, let me try one. I tried one and I'm like, well, okay, whatever. A little coffee bean tried one, what'd you think? All I tasted was egg. But it had cheese in it. I didn't taste it. And it had bacon in it. I didn't taste that either. Okay, let me show you what, what little coffee bean's talking about. These are mommies, so we're gonna see if we can zoom in here. Little coffee bean's gonna, gonna see here. So this is mommy's version. Can you, oh, sorry about the finger here. I'll explain that in one second again. But that is mommy's quiche, okay? All right, now. Let me explain what I did. Crazy Dave, I go to the refrigerator, I opened it up, and I said, okay, I'm gonna get crazy, okay? So I just started grabbing some of the stuff in the fridge. We got the eggs. Uh, of course, you know Crazy Dave loves cheese. I got the cheese, uh, got the bacon. This time I added some packaged uh, ham, some, some lunch meat, some ham. But I decided to do something crazy. Remember this? Take a look. If you don't know what this is, go back and watch some of my video called the smoking pumpkin or smoked by a pumpkin salsa. That's what that is. That is the salsa that I did in the pumpkin. All right, so I added some of that in there. Let me show you what the end result is. Take a look at this. Now look at it. It almost looks like it has a smoke ring, huh? And a little coffee bean, what do you think of this? I thought that one was a lot better than the egg thing. The regular egg? It's absolutely amazing. It's so good that I made a whole bunch of them and they didn't even last. Well, stay with me and I'm going to show you how it's made. Keep the, my version off camera. And I think... Move more. This is a plain one. You want it? Oh, no. No? <laughs> okay. Here you go, Andy. You want it? And he's thinking about it, but anyway, okay, so I forgot to mention this. Um, uh, my annual Cut Dave's Finger thing, this was actually done with a mandolin, and this time I cut the tip of my finger off. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to show you guys what that looks like. It's not pretty. Well, anyway, here's what we got. So we got, what, five eggs, okay? We're going to put them in the, in the Vitamix here. Um, we're going to add about a half a cup of just shredded cheese any shredded cheese is good we're going to add about three to four slices of ham and we're going to basically uh chop it up really nice and we're going to put that in the blender we're also going to add a half a cup of pre-cooked bacon now if you have fresh bacon great pre-cooked simple easy remember each one of these half a cup of cheese half a cup of bacon three to four slices of ham and then we're also gonna to top it off with a half a cup, that's right, a half a cup of this beautiful smoked by a pumpkin salsa. We're gonna put it into the blender, okay, with those five eggs, kind of make a, a paste a little bit. I'm gonna pour these into uh, silicone cupcakes holders, I guess you wanna call these, little silicone, silicone things. And we're gonna put them into the air fryer, not the oven, that's right, the air fryer. I'm gonna show you in one second what the air fryer is, I'm also gonna post below the link to this because I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. You're watching Crazy Dave Kitchen? Sit back, relax, enjoy as we make some amazing quiche. All right, step one, the bacon, half a cup. Step two, the cheese. Step three, the pumpkin. That pumpkin salsa. Sorry, guys. And remember, we're gonna do about a half a cup. 
pour that in there. Alright, and now we're going to move on to step four, which is the five eggs. And step four, the five eggs. Now there's one more step left. Oh, there's our egg shell in there. We'll get that out. But there's one more step left, and that is the ham. Okay, and step five is the chopped ham. And just, you know, if, if it wasn't for my finger, I would just grab it. But anyway, here we go. And we kind of just rough cut the ham. If anything falls, no big deal because I have garbage disposal, so I should say kitchen crew that will clean up the mess for me. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this fork and we're just gonna kinda just mix it up real quick. Even though the Vitamix could do this, uh, I just like to do it, mix it up. Okay, now we're gonna put it on the Vitamix and we're gonna put it about a five or six setting, just kinda stir it up. Stay with me, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we have the silicone little cupcake thing we got from Ikea. I don't remember how much they were. But there's the mix, and we're just gonna kinda pour it into each one of these little cupcake holders. And kinda, you know, go, you know, about 90% of it. Same thing over here. And once they're filled, we're gonna load them into the air fryer that I'm gonna show you in one second. Yes. Okay, so if you look closely, you'll see that we got about nine of these little cupcakes pretty much filled up. So that's what the measurement will make is about nine of these, okay? Next, we're gonna go ahead and put them into the air fryer. I'm gonna introduce that to you in just one second here. So let's go ahead and move these cake cups out of, or these little cupcakes out of the way. And here is this beautiful air fryer that I wanted to show you guys, okay? Uh, picked it up off of Amazon. If you look right here, it's called the Big Boss. Can you see that? Okay. Um, I want to say it was somewhere around, I think about 60 bucks, I think. I'm not sure, but I'll post a link on that one. This actually came recommended to me from a friend of mine, Kevin. And I'm telling you, this thing is absolutely amazing, okay? So we're gonna set this baby to 350 degrees, okay? We're gonna set it for about 20 minutes, but first, you gotta load it, because if you turn this thing on, it gets really hot. Here's a safety tip. Whatever you do, make sure that this thing is completely off before you plug it in. If you have this thing on and you go to plug it in, I've noticed that sparks will come out of the electrical outlet, and I think it's because it's trying to draw so much that it's doing something with the electrical. So as a safety thing, Remember, turn it off before you plug it in. I'm gonna load this baby up. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we went ahead and loaded these things up and we wanna try to get it somewhere in the middle. We're gonna put the lid on top of it. Okay. Now we're gonna set it for 350, which we did here, and 20 minutes here. That's it. Quick, simple, easy to make this quiche. Now, I'm estimating about 20 minutes, come back in about 15 minutes or so, take a look at it, make sure it's not burnt, okay? You want a little bit of a golden color on the outside. When they're done, it's easy. I take them out with a pair of tongs, and I actually turn them upside down, and I remove them from the cupcake holder. And why do I do that? The bottom has still got a little bit of moisture on it, so by turning them over, I'm still allowing it to kind of semi-cook and cook some of that moisture off, which will make the quiche perfect. Keep watching. We're going to show you the finished product in just a few minutes. So here's what they look like when they're done, and I removed the lid from the air boss. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pair of tongs, because these are extremely hot. We're going to bring it over here. And you probably can't see it because I'm doing the camera here. Right there. Now what we're going to do is take the tongs. I turn it over. Okay. And then I remove the little cup. And look at that. Beautiful quiche. And we're going to do it to all nine of these. Let them sit because they're extremely hot. Quick, simple, easy quiche. Well, there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy.